Hello everyone and welcome to this very special episode. Um, today we are basically going to be talking the behind the scenes of the Crystal Quest game and as you can see I, I seem to have some friends around me. Um, there's, uh, there's our mock-up. <laughs> uh, I am currently on the Curious Craft server. This is our personal server that we play with with friends and fans. Um, and I will be popping over to the Adults Play Vanilla server as well during this. Um, but just a small thing to get started with. Ta da! This is me. Um, my name is Equal Play, and um, yeah, this this is this is a yeah. I, I just I just look like my character. But today I wanted to quickly put this video together for you because we've been focused so hard on the game itself that I, I actually oh, I haven't, I haven't actually managed to get a game just to, to get a video together for you. So yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so here is our behind the scenes of the game. So we were given three weeks on the Adults Play Vanilla server to plan and make a middle mini game for a competition. So it was open to it to all the servers. Um, so I'm really interested to see what the other servers are doing as well as other people on our server. And I'm really looking forward to playing some of those. So to start with, we went straight into that first week was planning phase. We take our planning very seriously. There was some going to the pub, having a few ciders, drinking and eating all while discussing what we want from this game. So that whole first week was kind of just talking and thinking. So we also researched some ideas, I immediately jumped on Google and thought about sort of what other games there are out there. So that like parkour and shooting games and mazes. I mean, there's, you know, people recreating other games in Minecraft. Like we only had three weeks. I'm a complete noob at Redstone. <laughs> You know what, this is going to be quite a challenge, but we're always up for one of those. So we, we started really thinking about what we wanted, and we wanted a lot of variety. Like, we're not very good with just one thing. We didn't want to just do a parkour game, or a maze game, or a shooting game. No, not us. We wanted something with, with lots of choice and variety. So, like, the first thing we came up with was an escape room. We really love telling stories. Um, we we are actually going to start doing more narrative stuff um, on the channel. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. We are so excited. Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this. Um, so we wanted to include this kind of storyline. So we were like, oh, an escape room. But then we were like, we haven't got three weeks, and we're yeah, we've only realistically got a week to build this in once we've planned it all out. So we had to scale back from that idea. Um, we also considered things like, um, did we want it to be able to kill people? Did we want there to be traps? Did we want it to be both scary? You know, all that fun stuff. <laughs> is it going to be multiplayer or is it going to be single? How were we going to make it easy for people to record videos on it and include content in their videos? Which is, of course, always a big consideration with what we do. So the idea started to take shape. Um, this is uh, this is my current uh, Minecraft note taking book. I have several notebooks. Um, I bullet journal. It's a really big part of what I do. Um, this one happens to be my. Uh, so that's the initial notes of some of the things we considered. Um, so we started with, you know. So to start with, there was six rooms, then it quickly went down to five, then it quickly went down to four, four rooms. Um, and then with the narrative base, we, we wanted to bring in one of the narratives we'd started in one of our previous seasons um, on one of the other servers. So Unpronounceable is making an appearance. We're very excited to see him again. Um, so basically, He's going to have uh, crash landed in the local area again, because that's kind of his thing. And he has lost his engine crystals. And now it's our job to go and get them. So we thought about how that narrative would play out in the different rooms and in the different areas with the different games. We went, you know what, what if 
like some mobs had come and nicked the crystals and run off with them. So that was the basis of this. And then we went, you know what? This kind of sounds a bit like uh, sort of a 1980s, 1990s uh, game that I used to watch on TV called The Crystal Maze. So that's kind of where the name came from, kind of where the idea came from, from is these these individual arenas and rooms where you have to go in, do a task, get a crystal, get out. But we're not doing it timed because I have no idea how to do that. And then we're like, well, if the mobs have come um, and run off with the crystals, which mobs are we going to use? So here we are. Um, this is totally a nice biome. Uh, and this is one of the strays. And this is one of the ones, one of the creatures that we decided to build one of these arenas around. As you can see, big bow, very much just a skeleton that's been reskinned. But this made us think of the target blocks. And so one of the arenas is going to be based on shooting targets and moving through rooms in order to get your, your end crystal. Um, so yeah, that was our first one. So one of the other candidates was... The Drowned, which of course is just another reskinned zombie that specialises in being underwater. So here's some of the wonderful Drowned here that have inspired our underwater maze. So one of our other um, choices was the witch and the fact that they throw potions at you and that made us really inspired to do a brewing challenge so you have to run around get the ingredients make yourself a potion before you can get the crystal however we didn't really want another water biome so what we decided to do is pick the nether and place the witch in the nether for her biome so yeah we thought that would be good and a little bit different, and we could include some fire. Woohoo! We do like a little bit of lava. And of course, that leaves us one more room. But the last mob we decided to base it on is the classic Minecraft creeper. Um, so this one was going to be the most challenging. E excuse me. This one was going to be the most challenging because what I basically decided to do was make a maze using obsidian and build a creeper farm underneath. So underneath the game and the maze there's a little creeper farm which is going to funnel creepers into the maze. And that is basically, and the, these are the other biomes that we've made, and this is basically a mock-up of what this is going to look like. Of course, before we could really start building all of this and putting it all together, we needed to think about what we were going to put in it, how these games were going to come to fruition. So just things like, well, with the witches brewing, um, which potions do we want to make? What, what materials would that need? Um, do people know how to brew potions? So do we need to provide instructions? And also little details like that that we had to really think about and decide on. Um, and then, of course, once we knew roughly what we were doing, we then started to plan out things like the redstone and what things would need to be in it. We then started to mock it all out on the Curious Craft server. And this is why we've got a version of the game here for all of our fans and friends to play with once it's finished. We will make sure this is a working model but by the end um, before this is all done. Um, but I'll go back to the game and show you some of the redstone things that I was coming up with. And I am, like, to, like I said at the beginning of this, complete and utter new to redstone. I cannot emphasise just how proud I am of this redstone and how pleased. And it's just, yay, go me. I did good things. I did so well. Look at me. <laughs> so let's go have a look at that then in game. So this is basically, I'm going to have to remove all of this for the game. I was learning how to do like really basic things, just how to autofill a, a barrel when something was removed from it. 
This one was an attempt at um, one of the games. I wanted you to have to hit two target blocks. That wasn't working, so now one of them is on a timer instead, and you only have to do one. You've got to get the timing right. Um, this was me learning about AND gates, and then I had to put this all together over here. So this is the original mock-up of what we needed. So here are the barrels that you put these specific crystals into that you get from the games. Goes into um, an item filter here. Um, that goes down and then that takes a signal out, makes a nice noise to know that you did it right. And then that's my AND gate, a much more complicated version because I needed four inputs. And once all of those torches are turned off by those barrels being full by putting the right thing in, that then spats out your reward. And then I decided it would be cool if all this stuff down the bottom here then unlocks these hoppers and then it all auto empties so that the next person can come and play without any interference. So I was like, that's great. That's brilliant. I am so chuffed. I'm so happy. Now I have to fit it into this central bit over here. <laughs> all that has to fit in here. <laughs> so that's where this mock-up came from. I figured by moving, taking advantage of the fact that we picked four rooms, uh, I then put all this together and just slowly worked out how to fit all these component parts into, well, this. <laughs> Um, and this wasn't the final, this wasn't the, the first version of this. This went through a couple of different iterations, putting different things in different places, trying different techniques. Um, but you can see the green is the item filter. Then you have the sensing that that barrel is full um, and the AND gate. So these, oh, these piston blocks are part of the AND gate. On which that's all the pink wool, and then the blue wool is the the auto removal barrels, so that empties it all. And I also added a reset button in as well, so you can manually reset it as well. And ah, oh, I am really so happy. Look how complicated this is, and I'm really really chuffed with myself that I literally went from like literally this. These these ones here working out just a simple how to remove things from a from a barrel and put things back in it. Um, that's a a button that dispenses stuff. Literally learning how and gates work to putting all of this together and then fitting it into quite a small space. To be fair, then once we had all this planning done and like literally just pages and pages in my little book. Um, then it was a matter of working out what resources we need and then moving them over. So um, I'll show you what that looks like on the Adults Play Vanilla server. So here we are on the Adults Play Vanilla server and as you can see we have gathered and moved quite a large number of shulker boxes since <laughs> over. We have really been gathering so many resources and uh, yeah it's it's been really bad. Um, we also did a, a live stream um, where after terraforming, that's the thing, firstly we terraformed this, this whole section. As you can see there was uh, quite a few hills on it. And then we laid out the, as you can see there's the, there's the spheres and there's the central tower that we've managed to build so far. The central redstone is now in place. Where's me? There's me hatch. So as you can see, that's all in place now. I'm very happy with that. And that seems to be working at the moment. And yeah, that's basically where we're at at the moment. We've got a couple of days left to get this all done in. Um, and it's just been a bit of a, week, of a, bit of a rush. Um, and that's that's where we are. But hopefully you really enjoyed this uh, this quick video of me going through like the design processes, like the fact that we 
we came up with all these different ideas and the evolution of those thoughts. Like I personally really love watching the behind the scenes of videos and, and seeing how they're done, like the films and the special effects and all the different things and the technical the stuff that they do. So I really hope that you, you like this. Do let us know in the comments if this is something that you really enjoy us doing. Um, and yeah, I know it's a bit different. It's a bit of a departure from our normal um, but I just thought it'd be a really fun, quick video to put together for you guys so that you, you had something. Um, on review, for three weeks, this was a very, very ambitious project. We have really been working hard. We are so inspired by so many different games and we were really inspired by it to, to make more games. So yeah, watch this space. We, we really, that escape room idea, we really loved that and would love to do that. Um, so yeah, we will be showing more of the construction of this in our next Adults Play Vanilla um, video and we'll get to, to play some of it and hopefully watch some other people play it and it will hopefully be really fun. Um, so yeah, thank you much for watching us. Do let us know in the comments if you liked this or not. And uh, yeah, th this is me. And yeah, bye!